Hey everybody, Boris Lasswick. Welcome to the weekly uh, crosses for January 23rd to January 27th, 2017. Um, and the crosses actually present some very interesting opportunities this week because um, the relative strength, relative weakness stories, especially one in the, in the Canadian dollar, I think really jump out as possible trades going forward. Now, I'm going to do a couple of contrarian things. I think, um, you know, CAD can be both a positive and a negative trade. The reason why is because, you know, generally when uh, when everything looks so obvious, sometimes the, the counter trade is the more obvious trade as well. So I have kind of two ideas on, on, on the CAD side. A anti-CAD, which is, of course, the normal trade now because Canadian dollar is certainly in a, uh, in a weak position, with pound CAD as, as, as my candidate for that trade, where I really like that trade to the long side. Uh, it has support at 60, uh, resistance at 167. And a contrarian trade of actually getting CAD strength through Kiwi weakness, which is where I think there's uh, technically some very interesting possibility because the, the the technical setup here shows very small amount of risk for potentially large returns. So um, if I'm going to straddle the uh, the idea here, I like straddling it from both sides. Long pound cat, Kiwi cat. I'm going to show you the charts here and just show you uh, the example of how that plays out. The other trade that I think is, is also kind of very interesting is, you know, I'm clearly negative dollar yen and i think the yen crosses could be in for for a significant amount of correction now aussie um is a trade to the upside but a very very minor trade to the upside and i think again another um interesting candidate here on a cross basis if you're going to get short yen crosses is the aussie yen trade because it also technically looks very vulnerable to a further correction let me just show you the charts here because i think everything will become much more obvious once you see this on the charts let's look at aussie yen first then we'll take a look at the two cat, uh, cat possibilities so here's the aussie yen and you see the aussie yen on a, on a technical basis first of all the failure in front of 88 the secondary lower failure in front of 87 right here um and this whole potential of us maybe unwinding the um dollar yen trade all the way down to 113 maybe even even 112 to the downside suggests a swoosh to the downside possibly here through the 86 is all the way down to the 85 level so i like this trade to the short side with uh, with an 88 stop here um that you know that would of course completely negate the whole um lower double top formation but here it looks ready to turn looks ready to burn looks ready to flow uh to the downside I like the Aussie yen to the short side. That could be, I think, a very interesting cross trade as we start the week. Um, on the other side, the the dollar CAD weakness, which we've talked about, excuse me, the Canadian dollar weakness, the CADI, um, the dollar CAD strength, uh, certainly been very, very obvious against pound CAD, which has just been a, a monster 800-point rise here. Now, generally, when you have this kind of a vertical rise, the temptation is to say, oh, it's overbought. It, you know, you, you want to short the position. But I actually like it. The opposite way. Technically, when you have such powerful V-shaped moves, there's enough scope for extension. The real resistance doesn't come in until around 166, 166.50. 167 is the is the sort of the, the, the greater resistance point. There's still enough scope for continuation. And I think there's a lot of continuation possibility, especially if the pound gets a jump start from the UK Supreme Court. So I like this trade to the upside uh, even more. Um, despite the fact that it's already moved higher. In fact, even because it's, it's moved so higher, because I think the fuel here for further extension really exists on the charts. Now, to hedge ourselves and to sort of um, not completely um, fall for the CAD weakness story, one CAD strength story potentially here is this Kiwi CAD trade, which is clearly doing a double uh, top formation ahead of this 96.50, kind of flaming out over here. And if there is a contrarian view on the CAD, this one could be it, as we could move all the way down to 94.50 to the downside. It's a lower volatility trade, of course, so you can't really hedge this one for one. But it's, I think it's just sort of an interesting counter trend, a way for you to um, balance the portfolio without being too exposed uh, from one side to the other side. But the bottom line is uh, yen crosses, I think, are going to be very, very interesting possibility uh, to the downside. And CAD, either weakness or contrarian strength, uh, that catches the market, uh, you know, to the downside. All of those things, all potential possibilities as the week opens up. I wish you guys the best of luck, the best of trading. This is Boris Schlossberg, over now.